Hey people, welcome to sunny Edinburgh, second video of the evening for me. And a couple of people have asked me, um, how was I doing this sort of swirl effect uh, that's going on in the background? So I'm going to take you through that, I hope, anyway, at least I'm going to try and do that. Um, and it's pretty easy, but not obvious, I guess would be the way to put it. Uh, so let me just turn a couple of things off in the background so that you can see uh, what is going on and what isn't going on. So I've got a couple of things going on. I will jump into the live demo mode in a little bit and show you where they're sitting on the scene. But uh, in the first instance, let, let me show you what's going on. So in the background, I have got a zoom going on, a zoom effect. If I take the zoom effect off, then I get something like this. So this is me with no zoom effect. I've also got a twirl effect going on. Let me take the twirl effect off. This is what things look like with no twirl effect. Now, immediately now, you can start to see that in the background, I've actually got a ticker going on. And it's a giant ticker with just two uh, white boxes on it. And here it comes going on from one side and through to the other side. So that's just a very, very slow moving giant ticker. But if I go back and I turn on my twirl effect, then you can see that twirl is in the center of the screen. So it's covering the whole screen and I'm in the center of the screen. So the ticker comes in and it goes round the twirl effect and out the other side. And if I then bring on my zoom as well, then what that's done, done is sort of created a zoom effect on the whole window, which has given it that blur. And then suddenly I get this twist and twirl going on. Now I've got a few other things in the background as well. If I play about with those, it will dramatically change the look and feel. So I've got some stripy lines going out the way and some colors going on. So if I turn a few of those on and off, let me take this one off. We, we're going to get slightly different look and feel. So I'm going to put that one back on again and hit that one back on and let you just see how they look completely different dependent on which ones I've got coming on or off. So if I let that colour come round, I've got much bigger amount of colour coming round here at the moment in that twirl effect. Now one thing to look out for, I should mention, with any animation it's going to use up system resources. So if you've got an older Mac, probably don't do anything like this. But if you've got a newer Mac, I've got a Mac Studio, then it, it should eat this sort of thing for breakfast. So I've never had any problems uh, with it at all. So different backgrounds will dramatically affect how things look. So I'm going to choose a couple of others here just out of interest and see what they look like. So I'm just flicking through a couple of different backgrounds here to see what they look like. And I'm going to go show you some of those again in a minute. So depending on what I've got in the background will dramatically affect what's going on on the screen because it's going to pick up the colors in the background and it's going to create a twirl effect around those colors so let's get rid of that one and we'll try this one just a bit of, sort of a gradient blur going on so different ones will have totally different effects and it's really it's quite dramatic and it's quite fun what you can do once you start playing about with these so let me get rid of that one. So I could go for something really, really dark and, and moody. Uh, I've got so many of these sitting around that I have um, no idea what the combinations are going to be. But let's say go for that one. Turn some of these off. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting just as it is. So the, here comes the white block again, and that's going to zap around. If I get rid of this gradient, you're going to see that a lot brighter. So that's what I've got going on in the background. So um, I ought to try and get back to what I originally had, but I'm, no doubt I can't remember what that was. Something more like that, wasn't it really? The original one, something like that anyway. Um, so the flow as well. I'll just talk to myself. <laughs> so let me go into live demo mode window uh, options live demo mode turning on live demo mode 
and hopefully scrolling into somewhere where you can see this a little bit bigger and you can see over here in my backgrounds I've got all those different backgrounds that I was playing about with they're just what's going to be picked up on so you can go play about with those backgrounds they will uh, blend together and grab the colors and as I say twirl them around depending on which one you choose but the key elements here uh, is I've got a circle around myself here let me turn it off and that is a white circle again with the blend mode of transparency or overlay sorry and white and a shadow on it and that gives me my sort of general 3d effect this is my zoom effect and that's covering the whole window zoom on zoom off the twirl effect off on and also if i just come here i can play about the twirl effect to make it smaller or larger so if i want something that's more uh, a bit more or less twirly for want of a better description that might work quite well as well so something a little bit different like that you're still getting uh, a semi twirl effect but not quite as dramatic and the zoom setting and um, i can also make that greater or lesser and that's going to um, affect more the center of the screen because it goes from the center of the screen out the way but if i move it out then it's going to go in and out like that and you can really you know you can have some dramatic changes to to what's going on <laughs> dependent on how you set that up so that's really those two and the ticker itself if i just come in and click on the ticker and go to edit text then that's all it is two giant blocks i've set them as maximum size 288 and just stuck it as a ticker and it will keep flowing over the screen and you'll be able to see it come in and because i've slightly changed the zoom element you can see it a little bit more carefully well, clearly how the box is sort of bending and moving around the screen so that's um, how you can easily do a sort of flowing background and I guess the bonus of doing it in this way is that you don't get that horrible sort of jump if your background isn't fully looped and the negative side as I say is it does use up system resources so be a little bit careful about that one so let's actually have another play about turn off some of these other backgrounds here so I've got a selection of backgrounds that have got colour in and if I just remove some of them this was one of the sort of very basic backgrounds that I got in there you see the white box coming in and those lines coming out in the background behind me but if I add in uh, something like a gradient then that gradient colour is going to come through for me if I then add in something like this one spheres then I get all sorts of weird things going on so um, different effects very easily achieved but not particularly obvious how you do that but all of that has been done by playing about with um, the, the blend modes and a giant ticker and I'm currently uh, trying to find the appropriate keys to press to come out of live demo mode because I always forget to do that at the end of this, each, uh, each live demo so out of live demo mode <laughs> And uh, that is me, another almost nine minute video. So two nine minute videos uh, for me in one evening. But uh, hopefully you've grabbed some interesting things out of those and uh, I'll chuck them up into the group for people to have a look at. See you later. Cheerio. Bye from Edinburgh.